Well, they say that Pakistan is full of surprises, and this morning the people of Pakistan are waking up to exactly that. The PTI, the party of Imran Khan, who remains in jail, his candidates forced to run as independents, are claiming what they say is a clear victory, but they are also concerned about what they claim is election rigging. Now, behind me, you can see the official results. So far, 53 seats in the National Assembly have been returned. Official results say that the independents are ahead at 18, that the party of Nawaz Sharif, the man that many believe the military wants in power, are at 17, and the People's Party of Pakistan, led by Bilawal Bhutto Zadari, are at 60. So this is all very interesting because people thought it was a foregone conclusion. But the PTI say that there was a big turnout, particularly amongst youth, amongst women, and that they came out in their droves to support Imran Khan, who won't be able to leave the party, who remains behind bars, and yet you're seeing this groundswell of enthusiasm. Now, what does it mean for an actual result? Well, potentially, we could be looking, by the end of the day, at a hung parliament. I think what this wall behind us does show is that Sharif is very unlikely to get a clear majority, but lots of complaints coming in here to the Election Commission about tampering with results, about the slowness in which they've come in. We would expect to have seen many more by this time in the morning, and yet we haven't. So lots to play for, fascinating dynamic here, uh, and Khan still appears to have maintained that popularity.